Hey guys, Forex here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is the Sony PlayStation. I installed the X station in a previous video. As you can see, it's working fine. Um, what I want to do today uh, is part two, and I'm going to be installing some upgrades. So let me talk you through the upgrades I'm going to be installing. Now the first one um, here, you can see that it's a small board. Uh, this is an in-game reset uh, and it's made by uh, Console Unleashed. Uh, if you don't know about Console Unleashed, I'll put a link to the website. They've got some really great mod boards on there. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be uh, installing an in-game reset from Console Unleashed. Um, the second thing I'll be installing is a shroud uh, that covers the empty uh, space if I open up um, you can see you've got an empty space here where the optical block used to be and it's it's just a new shroud that covers that and the third thing I'll be installing uh, is this little beauty yep it's uh, an aftermarket case so if you stick around I'll crack on with that obviously what I want to do now is strip down the PlayStation uh, now I'm not going to show you how you do that, I've already shown you that in my previous video if you want to see how you strip one of these down just go and check that out so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this down and get to the, the actual motherboard and then I can install the in-game reset that's the PlayStation's motherboard removed from its casing uh, what I'm going to do now uh, is set up my microscope so I can install the in game reset just here so I'll go and get that set up and then come back as you can see microscopes all set up uh, ready to install this thing so I'll crack on with that and then when I've done I'll come back
And that's the in-game reset board by Console Unleashed uh, installed. It's, it's pretty nice. Um, nice little compact design. So yeah, what I'm going to start doing now is start migrating this board uh, into the new case. Uh, just a, a couple of points I want to point out if you're going to use an aftermarket case like this. Um, the first is I've had to remove uh, a couple of posts. Uh, there's one here. You may see where I've cut it my side cutters. Now you have to remove that on an original case anyway um, because it files the actual ribbon cable that goes to the X station. Now the second post I've had to remove is just here. I've had to remove that because if I turn the back over you can see it's right where the in-game reset is uh, and it would file the in-game reset. Now on, a, on an original case, uh, you won't have to worry about that, it's out of the way. Um, but because this is about aftermarket, it, it's just fouling it, so I've just took some side cutters and cut that post off. Now I've used uh, quite a few of these cases, aftermarket cases guys, and I can tell you right now, when you're putting screws into these virgin holes, you can see them, there's never been a screw put in these, you need to do it really slowly, because if you go you know if you start talking on that screw you'll snap the plastic um, so yeah just a word of advice if you get one of these aftermarket cases be very careful when you're screwing the screws in because you don't want to snap the plastic so I'll get everything in this uh, and then come back now I'm almost there uh, what I need to do now uh, is put the metal shielding plate back in um, but I'll show you what I've done um, if you look at this post here there was a post here just here uh, what I did is I took my pliers twisted it and pulled it off uh, now you'll see why I took that off uh, in a little while so yeah what I need to do now is get this metal shield plate on there and then uh, we're almost done and we're all back together we're almost there what I need to do now is uh, install the new shroud and that covers this here. Now you can see uh, this portion here plugs into the memory card slot and now you can see why I had to remove the post. Uh, it's really difficult to get it in there if I'd have left the post in um, but it should be pretty easy to get it in there now. So what I'll do is I'll pop this in uh, and then we should be finished. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> And we're all finished, we're all back together, and hopefully you can agree with me, it looks absolutely stunning. 
um, this green case uh, it really does pop guys um, I have another one of these green cases that I have in another PlayStation uh, and I swear you'd, you'd think they glow in the dark they pop that much um, but they don't uh, but yeah as you can see everything's back together Got the new shroud memory card in there Let's shut the lid power on and hopefully we get a boot to X station looking good so far yeah there you go X station uh, what I want to do now is test the in-game reset so I'll go down to Alien Trilogy um, run Alien Trilogy it's a class game by the way and that's going to be a little bit tricky trying to press these buttons and hold the camera at the same time um, but I'll give it a go focus come on you can do it focus there you go so yeah it is Alien Trilogy. Now, if I press, see if I can do this. This is going to be tricky. Um, if I press L2, R2, select, and I've got to somehow press start. Can I reach it? Can I reach it? No, I can't reach it. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll press it. I'll press it off camera. Okay. So the system. Uh, it's reset now this should be a short reset which basically means it boots the game again so we should get alien trilogy again and there we go we got alien trilogy again now to do a long reset which boots back into x station uh, it's pretty much the same it's uh, l2 r2 select and x i'll press the x off camera there you go uh, this should be a long reset uh, which boots me back into x station yeah winner winner so yeah in-game resets working fine and the final thing I have to do is fit the old PlayStation logo from the old case so yeah there you go guys Hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe. All the usual stuff. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Bit of Resident Evil 2. Win a winner. <laughs>